Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number 11, An Introduction to Pro Tools. So this video is going to be explaining everything that you need to know about how plugins work in Pro Tools. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and title our notes at the very top of the page, lesson number 11, video notes. And the first question we should be asking ourselves is exactly, what is a plugin? So in computing, a plugin is a software component that adds specific abilities to a larger software application. Now in Pro Tools, some plugin features may already be added on while you installed, while other more unique plugins can otherwise be purchased. Now plugins are fantastic because they actually make your workflow a richer experience by giving you the tools that you need to have in order to enhance your music. Now there are a few different types of plugin formats out there for Pro Tools, and what format you actually use will really depend on what type of system you're using. TDM, or Time Division Multiplexing Plugins, will require you to have an additional audio card to support and manage the plugin processing. RTAS, or Real-Time Audio Suite Plugins, will just go ahead and work on your computer's resources in order to run it. RTAS plugins will also work in HD environments and also the TDM systems as well. Next, what we'll go over are Audio Suite Plugins. Now, Audio Suite plugins are non-real-time working plugins that uses your computer's resources in order to run it. These also will work in HD and TDM environments as well. Now, the newest Avid plugin format is AAX. This is the bridge to 64-bit plugins for Pro Tools and Media Composer platforms. Now, the RTAS and the TDM formats will continue to be supported in the 32-bit version of Pro Tools, but will not be supported once Pro Tools is released as a 64-bit application. Now, the next plugin format we'll talk about are Venue plugins. Now, these plugins are used for live performances and recordings and require an additional audio card in order to support and manage the plugin processing. Now, the final plugin format that we have here are virtual instruments. Virtual instruments are MIDI-controlled RTAS plugins that allow you to play tons of instruments without having tons of equipment. In addition to that, you could also use virtual plugins to give you hyper-realistic app modeling. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up Pro Tools so you guys can see some of these plugins in action. I'm going to go ahead and select a session that I know has some MIDI and also has a lot of audio in it, and we'll take a look. Now here's a little something extra that I do want you to do. I want you to go to your account. You can uh, easily access your account by going to your marketplace, going to your account, and then downloading some of the uh, additional content that Avid has for you. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and log in so I can show you exactly where you can find all this great stuff. You'll go right here to your products, and um, it wouldn't be actually products not yet downloaded, it would be just your products. Then go to downloads, right here on the bottom. And then right here you have access to a bunch of different stuff here that you may not have uh, installed when you first got your Pro Tools. Okay, what I would suggest is you download one of these ones, like uh, one of the big fish um, loops that they have here. Uh, I would say, well, one that you should definitely download would be the Hard Rock Loops because it has a bunch of drum loops and guitar riffs, but on top of that, it'll also have this uh, session that I'm about to show you. Okay, so I would just go ahead and hit download right there. If uh, nothing shows up, you just hit download right here, but it usually takes a couple seconds. I'll just go ahead and click it anyways. And then I'll just begin downloading, and I'll go ahead and cancel that. And then you'll find um, a, a bunch of just different uh, loops that you can put into any of your songs. You could change the uh, BPMs on there, you know, depending upon your projects and, and even the key, depending upon what type of plugins you're using. All right then, guys, before we start playing around with some effects, I want to go ahead and show you exactly how this particular project sounds like, and then we'll start applying, you know, effects as the song is playing in the background. So 
doesn't sound too bad. Uh, but of course, there's no uh, plugins really uh, applied other than a, a few right here. But I want to go ahead and show you a dramatic change in how this song sounds like or how a particular instrument sounds like by applying some effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solo a group of instruments. You can do that right here at the bottom. Hit solo. You see how all uh, five of these were solo. These are all guitar tracks. And then uh, I'm going to go over to the inserts area, then to multi-channel plugin, and then to modulation, where I can, uh, well, actually, all these uh, you can go ahead and apply effects to. The EQ is a uh, is an area which has a few different options here. Dynamics, you're going to have a few different options on, you know, the dynamics or the volume, kind of a helps you uh, tool around with the volume, make sure it's not too high, not too low, pitch shift, reverb, delay, and we're going to go ahead and settle right here under modulation. Now I want to go ahead and show you the air filter gate. Okay. Now before we begin uh, using air fil filter gate, I just want you to let you know that air or advanced instrument research is a company that works in tandem with Avid to give us the plugin effects that we're going to be using. Okay. Uh, these are basically the ones that are built into the system, the ones that come in with Pro Tools. Okay, so I'm going to hit Bypass right now so you can hear the song without, or the guitar tracks without any effect, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit uh, Bypass again so that you can actually uh, hear the effect of the plugin itself. You see how adding effects gives the song a new flavor? Uh, it's actually very important to use plugins because it, it will enhance the way your music sounds like. It kind of gives you uh, an edge. It makes it sound a little bit less standard. Okay, so that was just one plugin. There's plenty more. Let's go ahead and A, B another one. I'm going to go back here again uh, to the filter gate. Select that drop down menu. I'm going to go to modulation again and I want to try out a, a phaser because I know you'll be able to instantly hear the difference as well. I'm going to hit bypass and then I'll, I'll go ahead and play it as well. So you can instantly hear the difference and what's great about all these plugins and most plugins, they actually will come with presets. So that's the default. Okay, that's pretty handy, but you could always tweak the parameters or you could try to find a preset that works for you. Let's go ahead and try analog vib vibrato. Hit bypass. So you can instantly tell the difference right there. Okay, so there's plenty of, you know, different effects to try out. And this is why I did mention before, I do want you to go ahead and download a, a full-on project that would be available to you so that you can begin A, B, and all these effects and get a better idea exactly how to use them. Now let's go ahead and work with a little bit of MIDI and some virtual instruments. All right then, guys, let's go ahead and explore what virtual instruments we have available in Pro Tools. So I already created a MIDI track. Okay, and this is the way that we're going to be able to access these sounds. I went ahead and selected a mini grand piano. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, cool. So there's a few ways that you could play these instruments. You could either just use your mouse and kind of just, uh, you know, click over the notes. Uh, which is a little less accurate and a lot less, uh, I mean, a, a lot, a lot slower. Um, let's go ahead and see the other ways that you can access these sounds. Now what you could do is if uh, you don't have your pencil tool selected, you can go ahead and select that if it looks like you know one of these guys are in use. Just click over and get your pencil. And you can begin uh, you know penciling penciling in the notes that you want here. And its length. Now these are MIDI notes. They're different than audio forms, waveforms. The thing about uh, MIDI is that you can go ahead and easily you know, select the note 
if you didn't want that note, you can move it like that. If you want to go ahead and shorten it or anything like that, you could do that with MIDI. Okay, and I'm going to get into a, a lot more uh, MIDI stuff a little bit later, not in this video, uh, but that's kind of just the basic idea of what MIDI is. Let me go ahead and delete these notes. And let's take a look. And then the final way of doing this is actually just playing it if you have a MIDI keyboard, which I do. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little something for you. Okay. So uh, there's plenty of different sounds that you can work with. Uh, this is just a mini grand. You go over to your insert area. We're in insert uh, A. Go to multi-channel plugin. Go down to instrument. Okay. And then select what instrument you want to use. Now, Pro Tools does come with uh, a handful of, you know, plugin virtual. Uh, tools that you can use, uh, virtual instruments that you can use, uh, but some of these ones that you see here uh, you can't use because these are downloadables or uh, these are downloaded uh, instruments that I actually got already, uh, like Ableton, Absinthe, and a few others. The ones that are going to be available to you are going to be Boom, DB3, which is the Drawbridge Organ, the Mini Grand, which you just heard me play, Structure Free, TL Metro, which is a metronome, Vacuum, which is like a like a synthesizer. It's actually a really good synthesizer. And then expand too. Okay. Uh, we already heard the mini grant. Let's go ahead and try expand too. See what sounds they are, that are in here. So this is expand two. And let's hear what it sounds like. Sounds pretty lush. Let's go ahead and see what other sounds we have. And there's a, a variety of different sounds. You have pads, bright pads, huge pads, and the list really goes on. Uh, these ones are usually pretty fun. Let's see how. Let's see. I'll try the very first one, see how this sounds. So a lot of really cool sounds. Okay, and this is Expand. Let's go ahead and take a look at another plugin that's available. Now I like Vacuum because it kind of looks like one of the synthesizers that I have, the Korg MS2000B. It's a somewhat, uh, not exactly, but it, it does. Uh, the functionality is around the same. Let's take a listen to how one of their sounds sound like. Now these ones usually come in a, a little bit louder, so I'm going to bring down the volume. And I'll bring it up right now. It sounds alright. I mean, uh, that's uh, kind of a a little bit of an electro type of sound it has to itself, uh, but there's plenty again, plenty of different patches to choose from. Here the list seems to go on, 65, a lot of different choices here. Same with the bass, arpeggios again, percussive sounds, effects. Let's, let's see how some of these uh, effects sound like, and they're pretty, they get pretty wild. Let's, let's take a listen. Yeah, it's it's pretty uh, pretty crazy stuff. Uh, let's try one more out. Let's see. This is propeller motorcycle. Let's see if this one really does sound like a motorcycle. If you're looking at the modulation wheel, you can see that I'm actually manipulating it with my MIDI keyboard. 
don't know if you saw that, but I'll go ahead and move it around a little bit. So it did kind of sound like a motorcycle, but maybe like a motorcycle from the movie Tron or something. Okay. And let's go ahead and find a sound that might work with the particular project that we were uh, kind of playing around with earlier. And I kind of found a sound that I liked from earlier, so let's go ahead and use that. So over here in structure. Number 38, I believe. Metalworks. And... I kind of like that. And we'll go ahead and play back the song a little bit. And move it down an octave. And hit play. So you can always find a sound that will work with your project. That's pretty much the point of uh, you know me playing that little riff there, or those couple notes there. Is it, it kind of almost seamlessly went in with, with that song. Uh, that's the, the beauty of working with, with uh, virtual plugins. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead again, open up a project, and begin you know tooling around with all these different plugins. So you can kind of get a, a handle of how to use them. Now. Uh, if you have a MIDI keyboard, go ahead and experiment with some of the sounds that are in there and, uh, you know, have fun. All right then, guys, those are all the Pro Tools features I'm going to be sharing with you for this week, but don't worry, plenty more videos to come. Now, if you have any downtime, don't forget to check out Music is My Oxygen for all the things that you care about in the world of music. And until then, don't forget to have fun, study hard, keep your eyes on your goals, and I'll catch you guys next week.